Hello everyone, welcome back to RPA Automation, my YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to solve uh, interview questions, which is asked during uh, uh, Automation Anywhere interview. So this question is uh, sent me uh, to one of my friend and she told me uh, this question is asked me to, during my Automation Anywhere interview. So how we can solve this question. And uh, I want to share these things with you guys because this uh, interview question might be ask you to your next interview uh, uh, automation in your interview maybe power automate maybe a ui path so um, i want to share this uh, question with you so question is uh, so question is they have provided input like this we need to count how many strings will be available in uh, inside of string so input is like this and output they want like this. So let's uh, start you know, today's interview question. I hope you understand what will be the input and what they expected output. So we can start, uh, try to solve this question in today's uh, session also. So let's start. So first of all, we need to uh, take uh, step by step. So first step, our our first step will be uh, take user input. Take user input. So we can uh, uh, take prompt action also, or we can take uh, assign action also. So I am going to take assign action string inside of string take this and give our input give proper name str input our next step will be we need to take uh, length, how many characters will be uh, available in user input. So take length, sorry, step, our next step. Take length of user input. Inside that, take length action which is available inside of string package. So give our here user input and it will give you a number. So number input. How many length, um, if you want to take, uh, how many string will be available inside of uh, um, one string action. So for that we can use length action. And third step will be, we are going to iterate our uh, STR input. I take iterate your input. So take loop action. And how many times we are going to iterate? So, take, so for that, take uh, our length output. Create one counter variable. And inside of loop, we are going to use substring action. If you want to take uh, 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 if you want to take uh, like uh, how many character uh, will be available inside of string for that we can use string action our store source string will be str input start from we are going to start extract from counter and length will be one and this will be our character one So we are going to extract one by one character using substring action. And again, assign. We need to assign one uh, number variable. 
to count how many characters is available. Do your name, number, increment. Okay. So we are going to use again a uh, loop action. So you take again loop action inside of loop. Same thing we have to do here. Number input. And again assign counter one. Again we need to use substring action. And here give counter one. Length will be one. And assign character two. Okay. So we have extracted uh, character one and character two. So next step, our next step will be um, if condition, we are going to compare a character one and character two inside of loop. String action, string condition, character one is equal to character two. If this condition is true, then we are going to increment our counter. Increment our in number increment and inter increment value will be one. Assign again num increment. Then again we are going to compare character one. This will be outside of uh, second loop. This will be outside of our second loop. So string condition source value will be character one is not should not be equal to our comma. If this condition is tr uh, true, then assign our output. Assign action. Take character 1. Character 1. And our increment variable. Num increment. It will give you how many times character 1 is repeated. And again, uh, assign here our, uh, this will be our final output. So, assign output variable. And again, here we need to do this output variable. So, output new new line. So this code is done. We are going to check our logic. Is giving our expected output or not. So take one message box. Assign here our output. We are missing here one thing. Right. So we have missed here one thing. We are going, we have to replace one thing here. If this condition is true, so we have to replace this source string will be the stair input. Find string will be our character one. And replace with comma. Again, str input. And then finally, we need to use a message box. Now, 
we are done with our code. It's time to check our logic is giving expected output or not. So we are going to run our flow. So let's run. So let's run our flow. It's downloading dependencies. So done guys. We got our expected output. So using this uh, logic or using uh, these conditions, you can solve this question during the interview. If you want to um, more questions related to RPA interview, so uh, please comment down below. Or if you want to solve any question, if you want to give any suggestions, how to uh, speak and how to solve uh, this type of questions during the interview. So please comment down um, in the comment box. We will try to solve this question, your questions. And uh, if you want to, uh, more videos related to RPA interview, Power Automate, and UiPath. So please subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon.